Well, I am absolutely delighted that we can speak distance face to face with our SJA Sportswoman of the Year. We have come here to Wolverhampton. It is a chilly November afternoon and Holly is about to go to work. About to start the first of five rides. First of all, Holly, many, many congratulations. You are the SJA Sportswoman of the Year. How do you feel? I'm um, really privileged to have won this today. I was just looking here at some of the, um, the names on it, you know, uh, Jessica Ennis, Paula Radcliffe. So it's um, a big honour for me to have won this. It's, it, it is indeed. And you have had a fantastic year, albeit in lockdown as well. Let's talk first of all about that. How did lockdown affect you? Um, well, I think for all of us jockeys, it was um, a bit of a shock to the system, really, because we're busy um, all year round and um, for things to have come to a complete standstill we probably didn't know what to do with ourselves but um, you know you can take it one way or the other and um, Tom and I we both tried to keep um, fit and active throughout it and um, you know luckily when we came back racing we were ready for it. And just winding the clock back when you started out in, in this game I mean you were never going to do anything else were you really? I mean your mum and dad were both jockeys you grew up around horses didn't you? Yeah I grew up around horses um, you know, horse racing, everything um, to do a question, really, you name it. But um, it was always an ambition of mine to become a jockey, <laughs> whether I was good enough or not. Um, at the time, you know, we had to find out. But um, it's a dream come true with what I've been doing recently. You're still a minor percentage female jockeys compared to the rest, aren't you? Probably less than 10%, I would imagine. Does that make it for you that you have to work even harder to get accepted in this sport? Um, I've never felt like I haven't been accepted within this industry at all, to be honest. I think it's just the fact that there aren't, men, aren't as many females wanting to be jockeys as there are males, really. Um, but, you know, doors are opening and things are changing um, and they're going in the right direction, so that's great. Let's look at this year, this phenomenal year that, that, that you, you've had. 129 winners and counting, beating your own record. If you could just take a little breath and just... Just explain how it has gone so well for you. What are, what are the reasons? Um, I've had a lot of support from many different trainers and owners, um, really, and I think that's a massive, you know, massive help. And I'm getting um, plenty of support from a, a, a variety of different trainers. Um, but ultimately, Archie Watson's been a big supporter of mine over the last few years, and um, also I landed um, a retained job with him at Al Cigar halfway through the year and I'm really excited to see how that goes next year. That's huge for you, that, uh, that retainer, isn't it? Yeah, it is for me, you know, um, he, he's a Derby, Derby winning owner, so uh, maybe at some point we might come across a really good one. And let's just pick out some of the things that you have done this year. Your first Group 1 winner for a start. Yeah, that was um, an incredible day, especially with it being for um, Archie Watson and Hamilton Racing, who have been big supporters of mine. Um, Glenn Shield, you know, he's, like I said many a times, he's a legend and um, he deserved to get his head in front that day. And your first winner at Royal Ascot, how did you manage that 33 to 1 shot, Scarlet Dragon? Yeah, it came as a massive surprise, really, to everyone. Um, you know, he's a, it's a cheeky old horse, he's, um, <laughs> he's a shrewd old fox, really. Um, things just you know, things just worked out for me nicely on the day. I, you know, you probably wouldn't be able to replicate that ever again, but um, I, I was in the right place at the right time on the right day. When I talk to people in the know about you, they, they say, you know, you have a special relationship with horses. Do you feel that? Um, I don't know, really. I obviously love horses and I, I love being around them and maybe it's something that I've picked up because I've been around them all my life. And going back to this season, how about that five-timer at Windsor? Yeah, that was another good day, really. Um, for five different trainers, you know, it doesn't happen very often. I was quite surprised, but um, it was it was a great day. Obviously, a bit weird about the crowds there, but no, um, it was it was amazing. Finally, I looked down the, the lens there, and just uh, you might have a little message for everybody who has made you the SGA Sportswoman of the yeah, Year. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you ever so much to everyone who voted for me, and I really appreciate it. It's been great talking to you. Best of luck today, and best of luck for the future. I get the impression we might be hearing a bit more of you, you know. <laughs> Thank you.